Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining. I'm Erica Hughes. Um, today we are going for a chaos style Dutch pour. We are working on a, what is this, 18 by 14 inch deep edge canvas. Before we get started, I just wanted to show you guys dried results from my last video. This is for sale, so if you're interested, please send me an email at ericahughesart at gmail.com. And that is a 20 by 18 inch. Dried beautifully. If you missed that video, it's the one just before this video on my channel. Okay, so let's just jump in. I kind of know what I'm going for, but I kind of don't, so we're just going to go for it. Um, I have a couple of pigments by TLP. We have the uh, pre, pre night, pre night. And then we have latte. And I have the Golden High Flow Sepia. Uh, this is a self mix. It's like a grayish, um, greenish blue, which is actually this color. Hopefully you guys can get a good this color here. That's how it dries. And then Oxide Black by Amsterdam. And then this is, I don't know if I'm going to use this actually. I don't know why I have it out. We're going to put this away. All right. Okay, so I've taped off the back of my canvas, sprayed the back of it so it's nice and tight. I have it on my spinner, and you can check out my spinners uh, on my website, Erica Hughes Art at, no, 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 Erica Hughes Art dot com. <laughs> okay. Enough of that. Anyway, let's go. All right. Kind of the light color first. And I'm just going to twist these open and pour them out of the bottle. Let's see. Okay, and let's go for some of this gorgeous green. Yeah, let's get some of this. I'm just going to put a little bit of black in the oxide black by Amsterdam and a little bit of the sepia. I think that's how you say it. I'm probably saying that wrong, but hmm, I'm sure somebody will correct me. So throw in a little bit of this black. And I'm actually, let's see, I'm going to squeeze this out of the bottle. I'm going to try and get it mostly around that black that I just kind of threw down. Nothing crazy. Well, sure. Okay. Okay, so now we're just going to kind of move this around just to see the reaction and how the colors look. Kind of set up our composition. So right there, I was just popping some air bubbles. So I want to go...
It's a really pretty color combo, actually. Um, all right, I'm just thinking here. Let's go. I should put my hair up because it's annoying me. Um, part of me wants to. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Will I? Will I? Will I? Right. I'm going to mess with the background a little bit or the negative space. I don't know if this is a mistake, but if it is, we'll scrape it all up. Start over. I really like this color, so. And I want to kind of experiment with like a t pigment kind of background, see how it dries. Okay, so let's throw down some latte. This is a lot of shimmer. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of blow this around with the hair dryer. Let's think. Okay, I have to blow this out, which I was going to do anyway, but I don't know how I feel about the colors, like the blocks. Um, although, right, let's just kind of move this and try and blend these together a little bit. I'm going to start here and then go up there. Okay, there's a lot of paint here. I have to get rid of that. So what I'm going to do is, now there's a lot of cells here, which is, I'm gonna be blowing them, but more will develop. So I'm not really worried about getting rid of those right now. However, I'm afraid, no, let's just try it. Okay. Okay, so that kind of calmed that down a bit. Now there are going to be cells um, appearing here in just a minute. I feel like I need to do something with this, but I really don't want to lose all that color because it kind of went, um, I lost a bit of color right here. But it's okay because there's a lot going on. We'll fill this in, don't worry. I'll just spin it around so you guys can get a better view. I'm debating here on whether or not to maybe blow up a little bit here just to kind of continue on the movement because you could see how it's kind of flows this way and then it flows this way, but it kind of like stops there. It doesn't really, and I really want that movement to just keep continue on up here. So if I take the hair dryer and blow it continuously this way, then it'll flow better, I think. Right. gonna stop for a minute so now if you can see the movement is just a bit more solid it goes you know like this side kind of comes up here and then this comes and bends around up here so I'm just gonna close these up oh my hair why did I leave it down I normally don't do that okay so I'm gonna just put some 
latte here and we'll blow it out. Touch up my edges and bring you guys in for a close up. See you in a minute. touched up my sides I just used the scrapings down there uh, let me know what you guys think definitely let me know what you think about this negative shimmery two-tone background or negative space and I love the composition a lot going on I kind of like it though kind of happy with it and again I'll show the dry results in my next video but this is going to look really um, like velvety when it dries. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the video. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Hit the bell to be notified when I upload new fluid art videos. And then I will talk to you guys on the next one. Bye.